It's movie time. It's gonna review a movie. Yeah. Gonna review a movie trailer now with Joe. Okay, here's my uh, my review of the Spaghetti Westerns. Primarily the three that starred Clint Eastwood. Um, there was more than three. Um, Sergio Leone. He was from, uh, I think, Italy. And he made some really cool films. Um, his most critically acclaimed one um, was Once Upon a Time in, in the West, I think is what it was called. Um, I really didn't, that one really didn't appeal to me at all um, when I was a little growing up watching it. But um, So um, I'm going to talk about the three movies that I loved the most. Um, the Spaghetti Western uh, trilogy is uh, Fistful of Dollars for a Few Dollars More and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Uh, they came out in 64, 65, and I think 66. I think that's right. Um, so Clint Eastwood plays roughly the same, he's, he's the same character in all three movies. Uh, a bounty hunter, a rogue, uh, he's not your normal hero. Um, he looks out for himself, and, uh, but he has a, he does the right thing in the end. Um, these movies are just great and they're a little bit hokey now um, special effects aren't that great it was the 60s uh, but they are awesome um, the music by um, I can't think of a guy who did the music right now um, it's fantastic the band the ugly music that soundtrack is like top three best soundtracks ever made probably um, so a fistful of dollars uh, Clint Eastwood this is where you first meet the character. He's uh, Mosey's in the town, and um, it's a story about him playing two sides against each other. And at the end, he's got to um, he gets caught and he gets beaten up pretty bad, and he's got to um, hide out, get better, and then take on the the stronger, the two families in this little town. Um, which is interesting about this one is um, well, I think all of them. Um, all the voices are dubbed, I think, except for Clint Eastwood's. Even that might be dubbed too later, because I think they filmed them all in Spain. Um, the best part in Fistful of Dollars out of the whole thing, you gotta say, is the first little uh, showdown. It's the best. It's it's insanely great. Um, you gotta watch it. Um, and what's ne neat about Fistful of Dollars is you got the villain in this one is also the villain. And the second one, he just plays a different character, which is which is crazy. How would you take the main villain in a movie, and then in a in a series of films with the same lead good guy character, you have the same actor play a different villain? Uh, but it works, it works fine. Uh, but it's really, it's weird. Um, it's also cool to see the character that the guy play two different bad guys. Um, so, Fistful of Dollars, um, all three of these movies, you gotta rate, you know, is some of the best. Um, Fistful of Dollars, um, it's, I think, the, it might be the shortest of the three. That's, um, it's got a lot of good parts to it. Um, okay, now, uh, part two is for a few dollars more, where you meet um, the character again, and he's a little bit meaner, and a little bit more cutthroat and dirty than he was in the first one. And um, he's out just for the money. And he's, he's almost got... Uh, no redeeming qualities, really, other than being cool, I guess. Anyways, he hooks up with another bounty hunter played by the same actor who plays the villain in the last movie. So that's really weird. The, uh, the good guy buddy in the second one plays the bad guy in the third one, which is insane. But Lee Van Cleef, he plays the hero in this one. I guess you could say he's the hero in this one. And Clint Eastwood's... Uh, um, the rogue again and um, um, again in this movie um, the best parts is when you meet Lee Van Cleef and he whips out his uh, his guns off his horse to take down some guy that he's trying to catch it's pretty cool um, and the showdown in this one is between the villain and Lee Van Cleef and the villain's got the drop on Lee and there's nothing that he's gonna be able to do about it but then Somebody shows up and redeems himself and um, makes the two have a fair showdown. And 
fair showdown. Good triumphs over evil. Um, the two guys, they decide to um, work together to take down this gang of villains, um, outlaws, and they, they divide up the entire, um, you know, all the, all the, all the heads, because they're all worth money, all the villains, so at the end, they're, they divide them all up, but uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, what's the best part of this film? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It might, gosh, why am I? Why is it so hard to remember this one? Um, it might be at the end. Um, it's really weird because you watch the end and it's it's not your normal movie because, like I said, the good guy is Lee Van Cleef. He's the main good guy, not uh, Clint Eastwood. Um, let's see here. Oh, the best part is when Lee and Clint meet for the first time. They show down at night, and that's epic. That's madness. Okay, the last one is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. It's the, it's the longest of the three films by far. You watch this on TV. It's, they show it sometimes like four, four and a half hours. They just pepper with tons of commercials. Um, what's really... Oh, okay. So The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Um, it's epic in every sense of the word. you got The Good, played by Lee Van... No, Clint Eastwood. The Bad, played by Lee Van Cleef. And then The Ugly, played by Eli Wallach. Eli Wallach is almost the comedic relief, um, who plays Clint Eastwood and Lee Van Cleef off each other to try to get ahead, but in the end of the day, you know, he, the ugly just breaks even, I'll, I'll put it to you that way. Um, yeah, it's the last one, so good does triumph over evil. Um, there's so many epic moments in this movie, uh, I'm just going to say that the, the end, the end showdown is the best part, um, in the film, and, um, What's really interesting about this movie is that Clint Eastwood's character doesn't get his outfit that he's worn in the other two movies until the end of this one. So that makes you think, is this the first one? Um, it's really weird. So if you look at it like that, um, it's good that it'll be the first one. And then you think about the character. Well, in every movie, he helps somebody out who's down on their luck a little bit. And he does the same thing here. Um, a soldier he gives a cigarette to as he's dying. Um, I don't know, it's a tough question. Um, it raises a lot of questions then. Um, it's just epic. I, I don't know, I don't want to spoil too much. It takes, it's a really long movie. You gotta make sure that you're ready to watch this thing. Um, um, the beginning with the bad, the, that character, how you meet him, that's insane. Like, you see that this guy is bad news. Um, the ugly, shoot, um, the ugly and the good are working together. Uh, um, Clint Eastwood brings the ugly guy into town to collect the bounty, and then when he's being hung, Clint Eastwood shoots him off the rope, and they chase him, and they, he gets him out of town, and then they just go to the next town and keep collecting these bounties and keep cheating the system. But eventually, um, he gets caught, Clint Eastwood, and uh, they have a falling out, him and the ugly. But they meet up together again. Um, anyways, it's a really long, epic movie. you got to see it at least once, and that, that movie should become one of your top ten westerns of all time. Um, so, the Spaghetti Western, the trilogy, are fantastic. you got to check them out. If you can, get them on DVD. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy them a great deal. And... Uh, um, I rate them all four stars, so see you later.